Welcome back to another episode of Nathan Tech. Today we're going to be showing you how to set up a Plex Cloud server on your Plex account. If you don't know what a Plex Cloud server is, it's a Plex server that runs 100% in the cloud. All of the transcoding, the metadata management, everything. And the beautiful thing is you don't even have to have your Plex server on. I mainly use my Plex Cloud server to share some of my video library with my family and friends. My upload bandwidth isn't the fastest. So this allows me to upload my video files once to Google Drive and then Google Drive streams those files to my family and friends instead of hogging up all my personal bandwidth. You need to have three things to set up your Plex cloud server. That's it. Three. One of those three. The first is a Plex Pass subscription. This isn't available on the free account. The second is cloud storage. You need to have either Google Drive, Microsoft OneDrive, or Dropbox. The third, of course, is content to put up there. Let's start by setting up your cloud storage. I use my Google Drive for more than just videos for Plex Cloud. So I created a specific Plex Cloud folder and under that I've organized my content into normal and kids movies and TV shows. Under the TV shows folder, I have more folders named exactly what the show name is so the metadata can be found by Plex and pulled down. I recommend adding the year to movies and some TV shows for example, the DuckTales 2017 will pull down the new DuckTales show as opposed to the old show that was out in the 80s. Now that we've organized our cloud storage, let's go ahead and move over to Plex. Log in, go to the upper right hand corner, click on account. On the left hand side, go to Plex Cloud. You'll see here the three options for cloud storage. Mine's set up for Google Drive. This will only link or show up the first one that you link. The other two you can link, but they will not show up in the list, and I will explain that here in a minute. Once you click link, go ahead and log in to the account, username, password, and authorization. Follow the instructions. Once you've done that, we're going to click back to home, drop down where you select your server, and you should see a Plex Cloud option. Select that. You will not have any libraries here. So to add a library, click the plus button. We're going to select movies for our test. Name it whatever you want. Click on add folders and then click browse. This is where your cloud storage name will show up. Mine is Google Drive. If you're using one of the other ones, that name will be different. Select your folder. Mine's Plex Cloud. Click there, click which one you want. This one would be movies. I'm not going to add anything right now because mine's already added. Click add. You can use the advanced option if you need anything in there. A lot of those options are the same as your normal Plex server. I believe that it is a little more limited though. Then click add library. It will show up in your list now. One thing to note, this does not automatically add content like your Plex server does when you add a new video or movie or TV show. You have to manually tell it to search your library files. To do that, hover over the library you want, click the three dots, and click Scan Library Files. This will scan that whole folder and update any of the information that you need for new movies or TV shows. It will pull down the metadata and add them to your on deck section. One thing I would like to know is that you can only use one cloud storage at a time. You can link more than one, but only the first one will show up when you click browse to add files or folders. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please drop them below and we'll see you next time.